Well, hi, guys. I, uh, I wanted to bring something to your attention. Uh, for those of you who aren't YouTube creators. And let you know that, that YouTube does not treat all us creators equal. At all. They never have. And the thing that I find upsetting is that I can click on a video and see something in a video that has absolutely no warning to the viewers whatsoever. You never know what you're going to see in a video. You can't just assume it's all going to be fit to view. Some things aren't fit to view. Now, YouTube has told me, and they have given me warnings in previous content that I've done. I'll give you an example. I one time did a video where I was talking about my hand disease because sometimes I will do a video that will talk about my hand disease for other people that either have it and suffer with it or for people that may have never heard about it. And in the video, even though I had a stipulation warning graphic content because I had a photo of my hand post-surgery, which was not gory, it's just a hand with a bunch of stitches in it following surgery. It was not bloody. It was not grotesque. At least in my opinion, it wasn't. And I had the warning in there because that is a stipulation according to YouTube and their guidelines. That anything that viewers may find disturbing, you must warn them in your content. Which I did, fairly. That if you don't want to watch it, there's a warning to where you can stop the video and exit out if you do not wish to carry on to see whatever you would see if you were to continue on beyond the warning of the certain type of content. Well, when I was watching this video on this channel of this image you're seeing here in this video, I was watching a video about a world record whitetail. And there was no warning in the video whatsoever stating that it goes to like a black screen and says, warning, if you continue on in this video, you're going to see an animal being shot to death. There was no warning at all. And then suddenly it startled me because I wasn't expecting it. This big buck is out grazing in a field and wham, they put two huge rounds into this deer and it laid there suffering and kicking until it died. Now, you want to hunt, that's fine. You want to put your content on YouTube, that's fine. But warn those of us who do not hunt, do not wish to kill an animal, warn us so we can stop the video if we don't want to see it because I sure as hell don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch an animal suffer and die. If you want to watch it, that's your business. I'm talking, in my opinion, I don't want to see it. It's why I don't hunt. I don't even fillet fish anymore. I'm only a catch and release fisherman. I don't like to kill anything. The point of this video is that YouTube picks and decides what is inappropriate, what is offensive, what is quote unquote disturbing. I can't show an image of my hand post-surgery, which is educational to those who may be going through a similar operation, but it's totally okay to see one of God's creatures come meandering out of the woods and be blown away. That's fine. But let's not look at your gross hand after the surgeon cut it open and stitched it up like a zipper when surgery is common amongst lots of people. This is what I have a problem with. If I have to have a warning in my video and YouTube still pulls the image so it's just a black blank screen, 
even though I had a warning in it. And these guys that hunt have no warning, no text, no nothing in their videos saying, hey, heads up, the next certain frames, there's going to be an animal being shot. They just let it play out and happen with no warning at all at what's coming. And it's totally fine in YouTube's eyes. Now, also, there is something that is not available to me as a creator. If you look down in the lower left corner of this image you're seeing on the screen, this channel has 10,500 subscribers. Now, take a look at their likes and dislikes. You can see the number of how many people liked the video, but you cannot see the number of how many people disliked the video. I don't have this option and I've got 15,500 subscribers. I've got more subscribers than this YouTuber and he's got an option that I don't have. All I can do is disable the like section in my creator studio. I cannot pick which side I want to reflect numbers. I don't have that option at all. So YouTube will do things for certain people and other people, you don't have that same option. People think it's black and white straight across the board for everybody. No, it's not. No, it's not. I've run across these problems before. I've been on YouTube since 2008. I've seen many things where they favor certain channels, certain creators, and for other people, it's not the same. So I can't show anything that I have done following a surgery, even though I put a warning in there, graphic images, warning, viewer discretion is advised, but it's totally oh, fine to, to blast the hell out of an animal that comes walking out of the woods with a high powered rifle. YouTube is run by a bunch of freaks, idiots. They discriminate. They don't treat everybody equal. If they don't like you, they can make your channel hell. They can make it to where you don't grow. They can make it to where they don't promote your content. They can do all kinds of things because they're the ones that work behind the controls. They're the ones that control the site. But like all other sites where they get away with a lot and nothing is ever done about it. Just like we don't have freedom of speech on YouTube anymore. You cannot talk about global, you know what, getting too hot. You can't talk about the, you know what, in the arm. When it's my constitutional right in America, in the United States of America to have freedom of speech. You want to run a site in this country? Give us our freedoms or fuck off. That's the way that I see it. And if you're going to make it to where I can't have something in my video because it's disturbing, well, you know what? Then it's high time you go after the hunters and have a stipulation put in their videos too. You want to make it fair across the board, you do it to everybody. Don't just pick on some of us and let the rest go free. I don't go for that crap. I've had enough of this. And they try to hit me with anything else again, I'm going to threaten them with a lawyer and a lawsuit because I am tired of people telling me that, hey, we're going to take your content down because we don't like what's in your video while they let all these other videos go just fine. They do not treat us all equally. I've had enough of it. They wouldn't make any money if it wasn't for us creators. They get paid like we do because of our content. They make money off our content. Treat us all fair or one day your ship's going to sink. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.